Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of architecture. We will be discussing some architecture diagrams in coordination based system guys. Okay. Okay. So this is one of the most interesting and easy topic guys, if you ask me. So the diagrams are really easy. You can remember them and you can write in your own words guys. Okay. Okay. So first let us go through some kind of a basic theory. After that, we'll be moving on to the diagrams. Okay. So an important aspect of coordination based systems is that Communication takes a place by describing the characteristics of data items that are to be exchanged as a consequence naming plays a crucial role here. So basically assume that you want to buy a book guys. Okay. Okay. So assume that you want to buy the book of distributed system only. Okay. So if you want to buy the book, you need to know the book name along with the author name, right? So you cannot go to a shop and say the distributed system gave me the book. So he, he will be giving four or five books. He will be showing if it is a big showroom or big shop, you will be getting multiple books, right? Yes. So if you say distributed systems offer principles and uh, paradigms, tell and bomb. So in that situation, you will be getting the exact book which you want, right? Yes. So in that way, you should know the name, the identity. Only then you can get the things easily, right? Yes. So that is the same concept which we will be using in this coordination systems also. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let us uh, go through the first diagram. This is nothing but just the exchange of data. Guys, we'll be discussing the detailed subscribers uh, and uh, publishers uh, diagram. Don't worry. So this is just an introduction diagram you can say. Okay. Yes. So basically the publisher will be publishing his uh, data into the channel guys. Okay. And based on the subscriber requirement, based on those uh, names, uh, tags and all those things, uh, he'll be, he'll be sharing his uh, data. That is nothing but his requirements he'll be sharing. So if uh, his uh, data and our data, his request, assume that he is searching for some video on coordination based systems. Okay. Architecture diagram. Okay. So he typed on YouTube. Okay. So he typed and I also published at the same time. I published the same video. Okay. So he searched and it is also published. So these two will match, right? Yes. So these two will match and hit the, oh, the video will be coming in his search result. So in that way. So this is the model guys of subscribers. So basically we can have multiple subscribers, but for a particular channel or particular thing, we can say only one publisher will be there. Right? Yes. There will be multiple actors, but only one owner of the channel will be there. Right? Yes. Under one only email ID. I mean, right? Yes. Okay, so this is the basic diagram guys. Okay, yes. Okay, so basically who is going to take care of all those videos guys? The middleware. The middleware will be pushing those videos, storing those videos and all those things, right? Yes. Okay, so you can go to the theory guys. It's really the same things which I was saying are written in the book also. So you can just go through them. Okay, so one of the traditional architecture for this coordination based system is I told you, right? So your coordination means all the process will coordinate and give data to someone or something will be done, right? Yes. So one of the popular is a tiny and Java spaces guys. Okay, so assume that there are three different processes and they need to do some operations. Okay. So in that situation, assume that you wrote a process, first process and second process are writing some values to your Java space. So we are writing A and B here. Okay. And already there are some tuples assume in that way, guys. Already these three tuples are existing in the, in our Java space. Okay. So once you enter the new tuples and if someone comes to read any kind of tuple, if it is existing or not, that will be read guys and any kind of operation could be done. So if you observe this carefully, this also looks like the publisher system, right? publisher and subscriber system. But the only thing is here we can have multiple publishers. That's it. Right? Yes. So this is just a, a simple idea that I gave you guys. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea on this. Okay. So now let us go through Timb or Okay. You can just pronounce it guys. Rent, rent the who's. Okay. Yes. So this is also a subscriber publisher uh, diagram only guys. So if you observe here, here we are having one publisher and many subscribers guys. Right? Yes. So even some subscribers could be publishers also, right? So even I subscribe for some channels and I also produce the content in that way, right? Yes. So publishers, so publishers will be publishing the data, but you should remember one thing guys, the one thing which the subscribers will be using is nothing but RV demand guys. So that is the thing which stores everything like whatever you are searching, the request, everything will be passed through it guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So RV is nothing but this guy's rant rows, rant rows. Okay. The full form RV. Okay. Yes. So basically the, whenever the publisher publishes, so based on the request from the subscriber, previously I told based on the request. So basically it is already existing in that list. And whenever a subscriber comes, he will be checking whether it's matching with his, if he matching, he'll be taking, right? So that is our previous system. But nowadays, if you observe even in YouTube, if you upload a video automatically, most of the subscribers, if they turn on their bell notification, they'll be getting a notification that your, your favorite YouTuber has uploaded the video like that you'll be getting, right? Yes. So in the same way, this will work guys. So basically here you will be only sending the, uh, sending the message to everyone. 
based on your requirement so basically if you don't want to send to this guy you will not be connecting with this so if you notice here the last subscriber did not got the notification because he didn't click the bell icon like that so i, I am just giving you an example guys okay yes so that concept the exact concept is nothing but this tib or ran ranzovus diagram okay yes so this is the principle that they are going to use okay yes okay so let us continue so this is used in mobile guys so whenever you are using your mobile device this is the back end like each and every process will be communicating with the local databases guys so basically they will be using your own phone databases right okay so based on that if any request is there any kind of data they'll be moving on to the internet they'll be getting the data from that particular site or somewhere and they'll be showing it to you in that way right yes so this might not be that much related but it is given in the ppt and even in the textbook also okay so that's the reason why i'm explaining it to you okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about some architectures so in the next lecture i'll be discussing about the communication guys so how communication can be done in this uh, coordination system okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching